one of the top five finalists being considered for the location of a new fighter jet training center. If selected, it would be located at Terre Haute Regional Airport. Lindsey Jackson found out from Indiana military and Terre Haute officials what this new program could mean for the city of Terre Haute. Lindsey. Yes, Mike and Dana, the F-35 project allows foreign pilots to learn how to operate F-35 fighter jets to help defend their countries. Terre Haute and the Indiana National Guard must now make their final case to federal military officials. Terre Haute's Holman Field is one of five sites in the running for the U.S. Air Force's F-35 project. With the help of the West Central Indiana Defense Network and Indiana National Guard, they hope to become the selected site. Foreign military partners like Singapore would receive F-35 fighter jet training at the facility selected for the program. General Dale Lyles, Indiana National Guard Adjunct General, says it's more than just a training program. We see this as a potential opportunity for the Air Force to put lots of programs here beyond just the F-35 for the Singapore Air Force. The West Central Indiana Defense Network consists of community leaders like Terre Haute Mayor Duke Bennett. Lyle says their support is key when presenting their case to the selection committee. The mayor has made it very clear that he is all in and we're going to team together to strengthen this argument so that we can win this. The project will be funded by the state and federal government. The economic impact would be tremendous, not only for just from the Air Force perspective of locating personnel here, but to bring in these uh, uh, Air Force uh, pilots from other countries as they purchase the planes from the United States and then they're trained to take them those planes back home to defend their countries, um, just that the trickle-down effect from that investment would be significant. Bennett says their main goal is to win this election, but he's also optimistic about future opportunities. This process will expose us to other opportunities, so that's all part of it. You know, you want to just keep working hard, and so if we didn't get this one, then I would expect us to get something else. I want this one, though, and we all do. We think this would be the best thing for our community. Now, the U.S. Air Force Base will conduct a site survey at the, Indi at the end of October before making a final selection in 2022 or early 2023.